Good morning, everyone. This is Mary. And I know it's been a good minute, but I wanted to come on quickly, you guys, and do an update since everything is basically have their leaves and some of it, um, the fruit trees are flowering in the food forest today. And we have our banana trees, which is bouncing back right um, over there. And right here is a new um, apple tree, which is the Golden Dorset. And it has um, some leaves that's coming on it. And that's a great myrtle right there. But right here is my Santa Rosa plum, which you guys, the frost, I mean, it was covered in blooms, but um, that little freeze that we had knocked it back. But I only have one fruit that's on it, and hopefully it will continue to hold on. And there it is right there. So that is the Santa Rosa plum. And this is um, my Japanese plum that I grew from seed. And you guys, it's growing really good. It's taking shape. <clears throat> hopefully we'll get some fruit in the near future. And this is my granny apple tree that has flowers. Um, not have flowers, it have leaves, but no flowers yet. And this is a Meyer lemon. And let me see, yeah. Over there, we have another from seed Japanese plum, which have not um, fruited yet, but it have beautiful foliage. And over here is my other front food forest in the backyard. And I have a persimmon right here. I know you guys remember I had like, I had the Lakota pear or something. I mean, it was full of blooms and I just did a video um, a few days ago, but something got into it and it just died so i had to cut it back there it is down there i had to cut it back so you don't stop there you just keep on going so i added a um and that's a tanisha um persimmon so we're gonna see what she does okay here's my anna apple um tree that i got from tractor supply over here, I have my pineapple um, pear tree, which has one pear on it. There it is right there. It looks doing good. I only have one that's holding on. And let's look over here. There's another um, Japanese plum from seed, which is love the foliage. And this is just a... Um, old-fashioned plum tree and it had blooms on it but with that freeze it just killed it and knocked it back and this is a apple tree that i planted from seed that is has leaves but no fruit yet no fruit set and those my flock by my little chair that turned out so cute you guys here's another um japanese plum from seed Let's go and see what's going on over here. Here's my Fuyu persimmon tree. That is doing really good. Let me show you the um, flowers that it's setting. I don't think it's set. Well, it's forming right here. I'm trying to show up under this leaf. Yeah, there it is right there. They're forming, but they hadn't um, set the fruit yet whether well, that's the flower but um, last year it was really super loaded but it dropped every one of the fruit so hopefully this year we we'll get some uh, Fuyu persimmons out for there and here you guys is an old-fashioned plum tree that's doing really good it was full of blooms but with that um, freeze it knocked it back it has a fruit fruits on it and we have over here 
um, my Stella um, cherry, which have leaves, but it have not fruited yet. So hopefully in the near future, we get some um, cherries off of there. And also, and one, one thing about these, I want to go back to, I want to go back to these um, old fashioned plum tree. They sent out shoots all over the place. So I have shoots all through this food forest right here. But I'm going to let some of them stay and some of them I will take out. And we also have a Nankin cherry um, tree that I planted this fall here. That's doing really, this spring I planted. And it's have leaves but no fruit yet. And you guys look at the June peach which is doing really good i don't know if you can see the sun is over here but look at the fruit that is on the tree and they are doing really well this is another um peach tree it is loaded with peaches hopefully they will continue you can see the fruit set right there i'm just which is the peaches doing really good i've been thinning getting um taking off the little old the little small ones for it can focus on um, producing the large um, peaches okay let me go over here there's another um there's my little dog chunk chunk he wants to say hello but um he's doing good right now so we're going to continue the video and here is my um th this is another georgia peach that is doing really well right here and you guys i just wanted to come on oh i forgot i have down here had to cut this tree back this old-fashioned plum that was um dying out and I have down here in the corner, you might not see it, where the red tag is, that is a, um, a kiwi that's down there. That would, it could trail up this, I'm using that rootstock for it to trail up. Okay, let's see what else. We have another Fuyu persimmon, which have not opened up yet. And it's newly planted this spring. And down here, where there's another um, old fashioned plum tree. And we have some more blueberries who have set. And the cold, when we had a few cold spells, it um, knocked the blooms off, but they came, they came back. So they are looking really good. Hopefully we have a lot of um, blueberries so you guys I want to come on quickly and do an update in this particular area of the food forest I have to do it in stages because I have um, so much to share with you guys but um, I just wanted to come on quickly and do this update and I hope you guys having a blessed day if you like the content that um, that I share please like and share and subscribe to the channel as they develop we will bring more but I hope you guys are having a blessed day and we will talk to you guys soon okay